free software and what we're going to do in this one is uh, recover our system using our restore image that Iomi uh, one key recovery has set up for us let's take a look at that first before we continue just going to right click here and click on disk management and as you can see this is where our actual uh, recovery partition has been created as you can see here and this has all been done uh, by Iomi recovery and uh, what it's done is created a nice little partition there now there's a couple of ways of going about this now if your system is bootable and you just want to restore that then you can actually use the software that's uh, installed on the system you can leave it installed and you can see here we have our uh, software loaded up and once you get to this stage you can see we have two options in the first video we clicked on the system backup and obviously you now have the one key system recovery now also I wanted to quickly just show you the settings here click on the little cog here and it gives you the enable the boot menu which is the F11 you can also change this to A if you wish depending which which one you want to use and uh, now you've got this all set up you can put the tick in or out here and says show the uh, press 11 for Iomi uh, one key recovery notice that boot up so you'll get that right at the very beginning of the boot and I'll show you that in a second now also you can uh, change the time that it takes and how long it loads on the screen for so if you wanted it to be there for a little bit longer you can make it five seconds if you wish so you don't have any problems getting to that um, that just depends on whether you want to do that or not we'll just bump this up just one more to four seconds here and you can see here add the item enter into Iomi one key recovery to the Windows boot management uh, starting uh, screen you'll get that on the blue screen there uh, you can disable this part if you want and just use this first bit if you wish if it's taking too much time to boot up you can do that it's all entirely up to you but I'll leave them both enabled for now so if you have no issues uh, with your computer or you're at the desktop and you still want to restore the system maybe you've got malware on there or something like that and you can get to the desktop where well, you can fire up your software here and just open up this tab here and you can see here restore system by using the image file in Iomi one key recovery partition you can do that here or you can restore it by selecting the system image file that it's created uh, whether you did that set up yourself uh, there but if you've used the partition uh, recovery which we did in our first part then you can go ahead and follow this through now I'm going to skip this part and show you the bit where we boot up because I wanted to show you that bit as well so let me just quickly reboot the system it's going to be the same process but partly we're going to be using the boot uh, non boot up uh, part so if your system is not booting and you can't get to the desktop then this is what you're going to do is boot the system up and tap F11 if you want to or let it get to the blue uh, menu screen there if you've left that enabled and click on Iomi uh, one key recovery so let's reboot the system and there you can see the actual press 11, F11 to uh, enter the Iomi one key recovery if you left that and missed that then that's okay you'll still get another chance and as you can see here you will then be presented with the choose operating system uh, which you want to do so you can see the Windows 10 this will boot to the Windows 10 desktop and if you wanted to do this way you can also enter the Iomi one key recovery here and you can also disable this part if you wish um, but if you want to leave it on you can also do that I'd prefer to leave it on it's pretty easy and useful to do and probably remove the F11 uh, warning at the beginning of boot so we can enter this it'll start to load in so it's now just starting to load up our Iomi one key recovery and you can see here do you need to uh, restore your system I'm going to say yes here and uh, you can see we have our things selected here you can also restore to another location if that's what you wish but we're going to be restoring here so I'm going to click start the restore it's just going to copy all the data across and start to restore that back to when it created that recovery partition
So let's now start to finish that off. As you can see here, all we need to do here now is click on finish. We can now close this. This will start the reboot process. And now we can select uh, what we want to do. Now we want to go to Windows 10. And there we are back at the desktop. Everything has now been restored back to the way it was when we created that recovery partition. So all your problems should be now resolved. If you've had any malware on the system or anything like that, it would all be restored back. Now do bear in mind that anything that you had on the system will be wiped, i.e. all your data will be lost and all your programs and stuff like that. So you may want to make sure that you back all that up before you continue with that process. Anyway, so I hope this one helps you out, guys. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit that like button. It really does help me out. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. If you've got any video requests or any problems with your computers, you can always head over to the forums. Uh, the information's on the screen right now. If you haven't joined my Facebook fan page, then you can also head over to there and give us a little like over there. It doesn't cost you a thing. So thanks again for watching, guys. Bye for now.